All right, this week we're going to be working on navigating. And it gets a little bit harder because now we're moving into if-then statements. And computing is all about if-then statements. So let's take a look at what we got. OK, now they're going to give you uh, the information stuff that I'm just going to kind of power through right now. You're going to watch a video. And then they're going to talk about how it works and, and how if-then statements work. Okay, so we don't know what the environment's going to look like. Therefore, the robot was first observed uh, and then decide what to do next. All right. So here it says the robot has to go until the wall. We first look before we do something. We do this step by step. Okay. Is the square in front of the robot? Yes. Move forward one step. Otherwise, else, end. Okay, and so the answer is yes. And we're going to click on that. I guess they want us to. And so you can see it moves forward and it moves forward until something's in its way. So is there a wall? Is there a square in front of the robot? Yes. If there isn't, a, you know, then it's a program. So here's what it looks like in code, and this is really important that you kind of pay attention to what this says right here, okay? Now it's using a repeat block because it's gonna repeat this program over and over and over again. And some of you have not been using the repeat block and I want you guys to sort of take some time and, and study this. The repeat block is actually very simple. It's, this is where it says repeat and then how many times goes right here. And then you have this curly Q bracket here, this is uh, this is right next to the P on your keyboard, and then the ending curly Q brackets here. Now here's another, here's some more curly Qs, but don't worry about that for right now. So what we have are if then or if else statements. Okay, so in this case, the the uh, the command is if, and then front is clear, which is a, is a command, then it should go forward. Now, so that, that's what happens if the front is clear. Else or otherwise, the program should end. So keep this in mind when we go to our next, our, our first project. So this is something, if you, if you need to come back to it, or maybe you could do a screen capture of it or something, or write it down so that you have this as an example, because the example is not in the next thing. Okay. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to be finding safe spots and beacons. So let's just go. We're going to do the first one together. All right. So you can see right here it says repeat, and then it repeats this right here. All right. So, and you notice that the repeat starts right here and ends right here. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here. And so we have to add, we have to add some stuff right here. Okay, so here it says, repeat, if left is white, okay, so we're looking for this thing right here, then turn left, go forward and stop. Otherwise, else, go forward. So when we click start, it keeps looking to the left, okay? And that's what it's doing. And you can see it doing it right here. It just kind of reads down, it reads down. And it keeps looking to the left. So, oh, oh, there's something white. Turn left and end the program. That's it. So when you go to the next one. Now, and by the way, don't forget, and this is super important, don't forget that your instructions are down here. So when you're looking at this and saying, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, all you have to do is just scroll down right here and it will tell you, okay? So it's telling you here, let the robot move ahead until it reaches the wall. So in other words, it needs to do that thing with the wall. Then turn the robot right, let the robot move forward again until he can not go any further. Let the robot pick up the beacon. Again, one more time, you need to look at these instructions. Also below the instructions, there's more help if you need it, okay? So notice that they give you the information right here. So what do we have? So, and, and read the descriptions up here. This is stuff to help you as well, okay? So let the robot automatically find and pick up the beacon. Challenge, use repeat, if, and else. All right, so first step says, number one, go until the wall. 
Okay. So it's giving you part of it right here. And so let's just play it. And see, I'm going to move it up a, a notch here. And let's see what it does. So. All right. That's it. I don't know if this is supposed to be there, but uh, the instructions were there. But again, look at what it's got. Front is clear, forward. All of the information is right there for you. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right. I think all of the answers are here because these are the ones that I put in. However, I hope you understand what it is that you're supposed to do. You've gotten some of the answers already. Follow the instructions. Again, always look down here if you're not sure about what you're supposed to do. And, uh, you know, you can always go back uh, to where you were before. If you just click right here on the basic one course. Oops, actually, I should have clicked on navigating, but that's okay. Um, scroll down. You can always back up and look at something that you've seen, you know, you, you, you were went through before. Or you can use the side arrows if you want. But do use these things to sort of figure out what's supposed to be going on. All right. Anyway, have fun with it. And if you need some help, you know where to get me. You can email me or you can catch me at my Zoom, uh, Zoom meetings, um, 10 o'clock on Mondays, 9 o'clock on Wednesdays and Fridays.